What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Cold Sun! Last time, we uh, checked out the Lucky Springs and also took a pretty long walk around town and talked to a lot of people, found out some stuff. Um, apparently, Bobby, the leader of this town's missing. He's over 100 years old, well over 100 years old. And, uh, yeah, I also checked out some stuff. There is actually an item I missed. I'm gonna quickly go grab. Um, it's kind of hard. Um, just kinda, I, I don't think I've missed anything else in this game. There we go. This one's actually a pretty good thing. Got a lucky, lucky medal! So I'm really hoping I'll be able to get this last mace that I need to be able to grab all the weapons in this game. Uh, right. Uh, last episode also promised I'd check out these games here. Whoa, okay, dribbles, they're just real tough. Can I just, no, I can't, okay. This is your first, is this your first time to play Lucky Dice? Once you start playing, you won't stop. Just know the games and all the lads, that's this much fun. I disagree. <laughs> I don't want to play, I don't want to stuff like Lucky Dice by Cat Spider. This is the guy I was talking about with the same models, the swordsman in front of the swords, uh, swordsman shop, sword, sh shop, shop, armor shop and stuff, you know? Yeah, that dice game looks kind of fun. If you can enjoy playing a game and win prizes, why not try it? Give it a try. I'm playing Lucky Dice, but if I'm not careful, I'll spend all my money. So I've talked to this guy. Read the rules if you don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna read the rules. It's pretty simple. Hey, buddy, want to try your luck at the dice? It's 180 coins to play. Sure. Okay, then take the dice. So there's actually entire graphs dedicated to uh, getting the most money out of this as you can. One pair. So we got a pair there. There's also a times five. So should I not get extra? Uh, maybe. Hmm. Maybe they both had to be. I think that. See, it says times five there. I think they both have to be five. Landing on the five, perhaps? I don't. Oh, I see. So depending on where they land, you also get um, that as a dice roll as well. And you can see there's a six because the three landed at the six there. There has. I looked this game up just kind of get myself a little bit more familiar with this the other night, and um, there is graphs and like amount like so much crazy stuff explaining like the best results possible to get in this game. I'm not really making any money, am I? Apparently the best, your best odds are to go to the very top, because you can move your hands up and down here, and then just a little bit down, and then that's, that's your, you have the biggest chance of getting good rolls from that. Of course I'm getting nothing but one pair over and over again, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. There's three different games in um, Toby here, there's the Lucky Spring, which we've already explored, there's this game, which you can only win coins from, and there's one more game. We're gonna go try the lucky slot that I actually showed up to last time. So we're gonna quit. We lost 540 coins, but luck next time. Yep, that's generally how it goes. When I was doing this, when I tried that out, my luck, my my, uh, my other playthrough file, I lost coins too. Even though I thought I won, because I had won a few times, I didn't get any bonuses there. Uh, and then there's this game. Separate out, try luck. Get there, and yeah, the, the wheels. Separate out and enjoy yourself. So I like this game much better. This game I didn't understand at all as a kid. Um, you'll see there's a bunch of different symbols on here. We're just gonna uh, bet one ticket just just for the easiness of it all. So you'll see all those like music notes. Looks like weird little buttons, stars, shirts, there's moons. Uh, what else? I think that's it here. So what that weird looking musical symbol looking thing is actually it's a symbol of a boot with like little wings coming off of it. It's weird. Um, there's quite a bit of things here. You're gonna want to look for a, the, that little button thing is actually a ring. There's the stars. There's hearts. Oh, that's the other one I missed. There's a shirt, which could help you win shirts. Um, boots will help you win boots. Rings will help win you rings. Shirts will win you shirts. As you can imagine, stars win you. What does that do? Stars win you elixirs and sight crystals and water of life. So that's really only a good thing. What do we want to go for here? Where, what do we got lined up? I guess we're only going by the middle row, aren't we? Stars? Ah, that's the one thing I don't care about. Here, well, you can actually stop some of these from spinning. We keep spinning, so we'll see if we get any more. Okay, we got boots there. And we get five spins here, so we're gonna do that. Ooh. Uh, let's go for boots. No, let's go for rings, actually. There we go. So you can also press R to stop whatever you want. Looks like, okay. Moons are actually wild cards, so they count as anything, and maybe we'll get lucky here. Nope. And back, back, back. There we go! Jackpot! Haha! -ha. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised that works. Okay, so hearts can win you uh, a nut, a vial, or a potion. Stars can win you an elixir, side crystals, or a water of life. What a war ring! Awesome. And as you can see, 
We want a war ring from rings. You could also win a sleeping ring, which puts enemies to sleep. A war ring, which is one, which which you use to increase your attack by 25%. It's actually an interesting item. It's one of the very few items in this game. By wearing it, it actually doesn't do anything. Uh, it's a use item. So when you use it in battle, you'll boost your attack. It's essentially, it's, and it's essentially a free impact that isn't like using synergy points or anything. Well, equipped it to Garrett anyways, even though you don't really need to. You don't even have to equip it to use it. Um, from shirt to go in a running shirt, which increases agility. From uh, silk, you can also win a silk shirt, which boosts your luck, and a mithril shirt, which uh, increases your HP by five. Uh, I've gone over the ring, and the moon is a wild card. I went over that, and that's that's all the symbols. So I'm gonna this time I'm gonna bet all four tickets here, which you know will increase our odds. So it'll be all four, all five rows there, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, and also diagonally. So let's spin here. Ooh, a lot of boots there. A lot of boots and shirts. Boots. Let's got a moon there, up top there. We got two moons. That's pretty nice. Uh, so maybe we'll go for that row. There's also two shirts there. I don't know if I want another ring. What, what are the other rings? War rings are really the only one I kind of cared about. No. Oh yeah, there's also an adept ring which I didn't go over, uh, which you could use to heal PP. So that's actually pretty useful. So yeah, you know what? Let's go. For yeah, let's go for that. Oh, let's look at the wrong row for a second. So we're going for the top row there. Oh, see, there's another moon. Let's get five spins. It isn't that hard to win most of the time. Ah, oh, I thought I had it for seconds. These moons are very helpful. Crap. Of course, I had to jinx it. <laughs> Let's do another four bet here. I won't spend too long on this. Uh, I got two shirts up here. Uh, three stars. Don't care about the stars. Boots could be okay as well. Did I go over the boots? Boots! No, I did not, actually. Boots, you can win fur boots, which increase mercury resistance. Quick boots, which increases your speed. Hyper boots, which would sound like speed as well, but it's actually, it actually increases your release weight, release rate of your weapon by 12%, so that's actually pretty good. Should we go for boots? Uh, let's try going for boots. Ooh! Oh! Okay, well, ring. If, the, if I got an add-up ring from that, I'd be pretty happy. Add-up ring! There we go! Wow, actually worked pretty well. Alright, let's do this one more time here. Let's try to win some boots, shall we? Hopefully. Step right up! See, this is the only place in the game you use uh, game tickets as well, so that's why I kind of want- Ooh, my god- Whoa! Look at that! Look at that second row there. We have to- There we go! Easy peasy. The moons make it pretty relatively easy. It is possible to get- Quick boots, nice. It is actually very possible to get, uh... <laughs> to get, uh, five- uh, in a row, which actually doesn't has not a lot of people know um, about what even happens with that when you get all five in a row. Uh, this just boosts everyone's defense by roughly the same. Who has the worst agility? Garrett. Wow, Garrett still has under a hundred agility. He only he has sixty agility. That's so sad. Everyone else has over a hundred. Mia, we'll give it to Mia because this is pretty important to get the healer to heal quickly. We'll do one more here. This is definitely- Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't want to do the first row. Uh, okay. We haven't won shirts yet, so let's go for shirts. Uh, we can only do the middle row here. Ooh. We got all screwed in for boots. Hyper boots. Hyper boots would be nice to get as well. We got the quick boots, so you know what? Screw it. We'll go for boots. Star- <gasps> Oh my god, so close. Ugh, one more! Come on, give me a star! God. Oh, I almost got it. That was pretty close. Alright, let's win one more time. <laughs> of course you can press R. Uh, is there anywhere... Uh, we don't got a whole lot here. Oh, that's a pretty garbage roll, isn't it? Alright, let's spin them all again. That's bad. We got shirts in the second row there. I haven't been looking diagonally. I should do that. Oh, we got shirts now. We got shirts here. That's really it. Ugh. Nothing. Oh, look! Wow, I didn't even get a moon. I think that's my first actual jackpot without using a uh, moon. Running shirt, which is actually the one I didn't really want, but hey. I'm gonna do this a couple more times here off screen, so uh, one moment, you guys. This is weird. Look at my inventory here. You'll see Ivan and Mia both have a bunch of slots open. However, if I talk to this lady, you have 14 game tickets, and you say, if you win anything, you might not be able to take it with you. Is that okay? Huh. 
Wow, second spin, I want boots, please. Congratulations, you want hyper boots, here you go. Oh, that's what I needed! Awesome, I don't know why they're telling me I might not be able to take it with me. Weird. I really want the hyper boots. Okay, boost defense and critical hits. Oh, it's critical hits! Huh. Oh, my, my, my Wikipedia page lied to me. Uh, who has weapons that need to be used? Garrett does. Let me give it to Garrett then. There we go. So we have a bunch of junk now. A lot of junk. Boost agility! I'm gonna stop playing. I do have game tickets still, but I'll stop playing for just a Wow. Why, why is this giving me more armor than a uh, cocktail dress than... Well, Ivan already has it. Boost agility, that's... Should I give it to Garrett's? Let's give it to Garrett, shall we? That won't change my party order or anything, so yeah, it'll just... just be nice if Garrett could actually do some stuff sometimes, you know? Alright, uh, do we have anything else here? Maybe the add-ups ring. These are so sad for This is actually a, a, one of the very few items you can use outside of battle. Oops. You just use it. See, Isaac has 105. There we go. Or 90, 91 out of 98. You can just... There we go. It, bro oh, it broke already?! Holy crap! In my test playthrough of this, I used that like 10 times and it finally broke. Ah, well, I mean, there's that random aspect to it. Um, one thing I haven't gone over... The Lucky Spring here. There is actually a way to tamper with it so that you get items that you want. There's a method in a lot of RPGs called the RNG method, where if you reset a certain amount of times and you do certain things in a certain way... Oops, I wanted to sell. Um, you can actually affect what, what your prize is. It is very useful in certain aspects. Um, and so, for example, if you want the Grievous Maze, it doesn't work perfectly, but... Is there really nothing? I thought I just equipped something like here. I equipped, yeah, that running shirt. Oh, wow, look at that! You equipped it underneath the armor. That's why that works. Interesting. I actually didn't know that. Um, does anyone have anything that... Oh, yeah, I actually came here to... Uh, so, I took fix... Nope, we don't want to sell these Assassin's Lake, so I'll actually be helpful. Can we repair? I see, what can I repair for you? I like how she says, I see. 770, good god, that's actually quite a bit of money. Very worth it, though. That'll be very helpful to get about. So yeah, this is the only out of battle, besides the Psy Crystal, the only out of battle item you can use to give yourself synergy. Which is crazy to me. I don't know why it's so crazy when, you know, there's all the things that you could use, really, but... <laughs> Alright, uh, without further ado, let's go to Colosso. Oh, I like this music a lot. Colosso's lucky guess makes uh, the battles in the Colosseum better. What does that mean? Everyone keeps risking more and more. The prize is huge. A warrior that, win uh, that few people picked wins, they'll win big. So yeah, it's a betting system. I've been, I've been betting on Lucky Guess for ye many years, but I've never won. I'd like to hit a big just once in my life. Aw, oh, poor old guy. I'm feeling confident this time. I'm sure I'll get it. If you, wanna, uh, if you wanna win big, put it on the warrior and no one else is picked. Oh, okay. I thought for a second. You actually can't talk to this NPC, which is weird. Right? Yeah, just talk to this guy. You never get the option to talk to that guy. It's really weird. Every time I, I go to. For the big win, knowing it's a mistake, so one bites can't come. I think it's a sub from betting, but you can talk to this guy. Do you want to know lucky guesses? Yes. Entrants can't pick their own team members, that way the matches won't be fixed. This game where you try to guess uh, which warrior will win the finals. If you hit it right, you can win famous points. So yeah, it's an entire betting system. It's pretty freaking cool. I, I like that. Um, you can't enter it though, which is weird. Sorry, the Coliseum is packed with people. I'll never go in there. Having to arrive so early, you just get in the Coliseum as well. Maybe you should get in line, ma'am. Cheech. They're holding the prim prim uh, preliminary Colosso heats right now. The winners will trials will advance to the finals. If you hit big and lucky guess, you can win a pretty penny. You have to watch the trials closely to decide who you'll vote for. So yeah, you don't actually have to. I guess you don't have to actually guess until after the trials are over. Are you going to go see Col Colosso now? First timers always make that mistake. If you want to see Colosso, you have to get the Colosseum early. So yeah, if you actually take a peek here, there's a lot of people. Nothing there. I, I was gonna say I don't think I ever checked those barrels in my practice run. So yeah, you can just see people forever. I'm actually really curious if you put in like a walk through walls glitch. I almost did this uh, on my other file just to go see what, like how far could you go in here and what is past there. I'm sure it's just a black screen at a certain point. But I'm really curious. So there's nothing to really do there for now. So uh, there's one more path we haven't gone yet, which is up here. Oh. Hey, have you seen that looks like this? Missing person. Is that Babby? Huh. Oops, I meant to say no. I must be nearby! Oops. I do not mean to mislead those soldiers, I meant to say no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hopefully there's no legal... 
up. Ooh, royal music. Hopefully there's no legal ramifications for lying to the officers. It's filled with fresh, clean water. Ooh. These guys must be rich to afford nice, clean water. All right, so the castle here. Let me just pour this up here. Castle. Uh, barrel top right. Okay, I don't think there's anything outside here. Some rooms in the palace are available for a colossal entrance. You, know, you should be thankful Lord Bobby is such a gracious host. Normally no one's allowed to Bobby's palace, but during colossal visitors are, visitors are free to ent enter. Could the palace really be open to the public during such a... You'd think that'd be the time where you wouldn't let people in, right? Because it's like, you don't want random people in your house. I don't know how many people will stay here at the Bobby palace after colossal. Really cool castle, by the way. It looks kind of small just by looking at it outside. I promise you it is not. This is definitely the biggest castle in the game. Uh, did you run into any Bobby soldiers in town? Yes. That means they must not have found him yet. I wonder how, how diligently Bobby soldiers are looking for him. Wow, interesting. Does that mean they're not really looking too hard for him? Castle, uh, barrel, top of, uh, top of bottom right tower. Okay, let's see if there's anything else here. No, empty tower. Wah, wah. Ding. As I search the bookcase, there's a book entitled The Heart of the Colossal Warrior. Do your best! Do not bet on lucky guess, so the book says. We have just enough extra beds in this room for everybody. Please follow me. Oh, but I'm not entering Colossal, but uh, okay. Can you sleep? Maze these four beds. Will you be going to sleep? Sure. Then enjoy your rest. Oh, <laughs> I thought the little cutscene was going. Would you like to sleep now? Yeah, why not? This is essentially a free in, which is very helpful. Oh, I'm so tired. I didn't think we'd ever find a place to stay. What a relief! Let's rest up for tomorrow! Good night, everybody! Good night! Good night! Sleep well! Sleep wow! I said that weird. <laughs> Yay, we did it! This is a cool little extra cutscene. Morning! Good morning! Morning! Good morning, I should say. Alright, Isaac, we're going on a hard day of work ahead of us. I kind of wish you got more cutscenes like this with the inns, like people talking for they go to sleep. I think that's kind of cool. Here's a bunch of bones and junk on the table. Gross. Are you planning to enter Colossal? Yes. Better leave right away then. Childs are already underway. Go to the Coliseum. It's so angry seeing these warriors off to fight in Colossal. I hurt my back during my training, so I can't believe it. Yeah, that's gotta suck. This is a shelf. The armor looks heavy. It looks like it belongs to one of the Colossal Warriors. Ah, oh, this guy is spooked. I can't fight because of the load indigestion? That's pathetic! Maybe I can shut off this pain in my guts. I have to enter Colossal. It's no use. My stomach really hurts. <laughs> Poor guy. Got the nerves. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten quite so much yesterday. Uh, Alright, there's nothing else in here, apparently, according to my notes. Uh, so that leads around here, so those doors in are in interconnected. Apparently there's something up here, though. Aha! On the side reveal. I like how using a reveal in a small room like this. Not lucky metal, awesome. It makes the entire room look gray. Other colors have been whipped away. There's also this statue here. Look familiar? Hmm. 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 Oh, bookcase. There's a notebook that shows the records for the dice game. The owner seems to have lost a lot of money playing dice. Is it this guy? Is it search the shelf? There's nothing in there. It's completely dark inside. There's a lot of used dice rolling around. If you're engine class, I'll hurry along to the Coliseum. Uh, but even if you leave now, you may be too late for the trials. Yeah. Where's not allowed to stay in the palace if they don't enter class? So, oops. By the way, on this table, what does that look like to you? To me, that always looked like a giant eyeball. It always kind of creeped me out. I now realize that's a plate and a glass. I always thought that was weird, though. Is there anything in here? So, okay, there's not. It's a cool little fireplace there with embers. Neat how bright, how warming up the the, the room. <laughs> and this room, we got ah. The barracks, kind of. There's a headband that says, Never give up, go for the win! Wow, flame. Search the bookcase. This book and title become a much man in 12 easy steps. Others just seem like. All these warriors seem to like weight training. Wow. Bobby's name is right in the construction of this huge lighthouse. 
Uh, it's a huge undertaking, which is why the guards around the lighthouse are so tight. Hmm. You never get near the lighthouse without these passes from Eodum. Eodum, hey? Only warriors who fight well in the Colossal Finals can become soldiers here. Ah, all the warriors enter Colossal just because they want to join our ranks. Our first Colossal was so exciting. After all the battles will be pretty heated this year. So yeah, all the soldiers here are like, they either do very well or they win Colossal, which is really cool. Even if Lord Babby doesn't return, uh, the campaign to build Bobby's Lighthouse will go on. I won't be able to relax until we know where Bobby is. I hear that girl is going on the next campaign. Look at that. The girl? What could that mean? Huh. Lord Bobby is building a lighthouse as the displays of his power. Once lighthouse complete, Bobby's name will live forever. I don't want to live forever. Sorry. Let's go up here. Yeah, this castle keeps going on and on and on. Eat him! Eat him! I think that's how you pronounce that name. I'm not entirely sure. You went to Alt Miller Cave as you commanded. And what have you? What news is there of Bobby? This is futile. Udim, why'd you send us to look for Bobby in a place like that? Oh, Lord Bobby, enter such a dangerous cave alone, it's. Inconceivable? Is that what you were gonna say? Alt Miller Cave is an evil place. Evil! If Bobby went there alone, a monster might have. I'm aware of Alt Miller's cave's eccentric eccentricities. <laughs> you knew? Why would you send us there, Eudem? Lord Bobby has left in secret before. I mean, this isn't the first time Lord Bobby has disappeared, Eudem. Do you know where he went before? I fo I followed Lord Bobby once. I was certain he had gone to Alt Miller Cave. Did you ever investigate the cave, Yudim? What was he doing in the cave? Once he entered the cave, Lord Bobby vanished before my very eyes. Vanished? You mean just lost, lost sight of Lord Bobby? Is that it? After he entered the mouth of the cave, I followed him. He had vanished, leaving no trace. I tried following him in several times after that. Each time he vanished within seconds of entering the cave's mouth. And you think that's where Lord Bobby went this morning, you know? But if he always returned for Alt Miller Cave before. Then he should be back soon, right? No, this time is different. Something puzzles me. What do you mean? It is certainly strange that Lord Bobby should go right before Colosso, but there's something else. What is it? Lord Bobby's bedding was not disturbed this morning. What's unusual about that? Last night, Lord Bobby did not use his bed. That is the problem. Lord Bobby has, in fact, been missing since last night. <sighs> that is why I'm so worried. He's never done this before. You know he'd been missing so long. I don't think Lord Bobby's been ki- Speak no- Speak no such foolishness! I'm sure Lord Bobby's alive and well somewhere. Ah, yes, of course. Is it Lumpa? Did Lumpa get him? Is he hanging out with Hammett? Uh, I will not go to the Coliseum in Lord Bobby's steed. You must find him. We will all connect- uh, conduct another round of searches. Bobby, where have you gone? The plot thickens. So he disappears into a cave right before Colosso. What in the world? I mean, is he hiding something in the cave? Why couldn't he just put it in his castle? He's already the leader of town. I'm sure there's somewhere he could stash whatever he's hiding. Weird. Anyways, the plot thickens. Next time, we'll finish exploring the castle. Maybe get a lead onto where. Well, I mean, we did kind of get a lead to where Bobby is, isn't it? So, Alt Miller Cave. I don't think we've been there before. I have to figure out where that is. Thank you for watching, everybody. Next time, maybe we'll find out where Bobby is. Bobby, come home. See you guys.